And there was a rope old republic title nearby so we stopped at that one too so our next stop i have my map well i have my list and i have my hand drawn map we're going to burleson so stay with me y'all I'm, I'm listening i like to listen to youtube a lot i'm listening to this girl let me shout her channel out real quick it's called jwz mysteries and she like tells stories about like true crimes and she does tarot too because i'll be watching um i said the tarot videos and hers popped up but she kept talking about like she does like a mystery channel so i went to her mystery channel and girl i'm listening to this story and it is good how she is over here telling this story so i think that's what i'm going to be listening to the rest of my car ride journey because like, I don't know. Yesterday, I just wanted to watch a series on Netflix where people, this sounds so bad, like where it was murder involved. Mystery, but kind of scary, but still murder involved where we gotta be like, oh, like that person did this or this person did that, but I couldn't find anything. If y'all have any good recommendations for shows like that, I don't watch that show. Is it called like You? But I kind of want something on a level like that. Like you have to pay attention, but it's suspenseful, but it's murder involved too. But it's good. I like this horror story she's talking about. So I'm gonna keep watching hers and go on to my next stop, y'all. Talk to you later. <sighs> Terrence. Okay, it's only 12 miles away, 24 minutes. But then I'm gonna go up to Fort Worth. So I'm trying to be there. We'll go that way. I'm trying to be tracked. Yeah. just got done with the one out out here i love when the escrow officers come to the front because she asked me about my experience and my fees and was like she has a notary that she uses that usually like follow her around um she's been using her for six years she's like but when she's on vacation and things like that i could definitely would use you so okay that's what i'm here for now i'm trying to see do i want to go to fort worth it's 152. I'm gonna just go ahead and go because I'm already out here, y'all. I'm out here like that, y'all. Fort Worth, Clear Fork. Let me. So I'm going to see where these are. So, one thing that I do suggest if you're going to be doing this and like aspiring 
to get your name out there and market to these title companies and you have a list, use Google Maps. You can enter the location and once you enter the, uh, you can enter like multiple locations. I think it works best on my computer and like it can tell you like the quickest way to go from one to the next to the next to the next and not like go here then here then up then there today we didn't have any business honestly so and i'm going to put all these addresses in how do i add one thirty dollars thank you god not that i didn't record me on the walk up Y'all, I wish I had my, um, I didn't bring my notary bag. That's one thing I did forget. Every day when I leave the house and I do this, I need to go ahead and take my notary bag. Remember to do that. Cause the lady in there, she needed a document notarized. And I just would have did it for off, you know, off of, you know, good, good, good faith, good character, what's up or whatever. Dang it, man. Lessons. I learn new lessons every day that I'm pushing forward, y'all. I learn new lessons. Okay, we just got four words done. And she had an orchid in there, but like her orchid didn't have any leaves, um, flowers or blooms or anything like that. And she, I told her about mine, she was like, it's gonna come back. She was like, just, just put in some sunlight, it's gonna come back because Onika the orchid, I, I hope she lives. I don't wanna be a plant killer. And she's my first plant, so. Happy face, happy face. Uh, one box. Four cards. So I kind of made it like on my timeline at four. So you guys know what I'm about to do now. Enter all the information that I got. Um, I did collect a business card from everybody. So I'm about to enter all their information into my computer. And of course I'm going to sip on some wine while I'm doing it. So I thought I'd make this video for y'all to show y'all what type of wine I'm drinking right now or have drunk. Today we are finishing off this Petite Petite. This is by Michael David. You've probably seen this wine in every grocery store. It's even in like gas stations like 7-Eleven. Um, excuse me y'all. But it has the circus theme on it. It has the two elephants. And this here is a Petite Syrah. It's really good. It's a 2019. It's vintage and bottled by Michael David Winery out of American Canyon in California. And alcohol is 14.5% by volume. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little wine tasting for y'all because y'all know I love wine. And girl, I don't even know. Like, I need to call them and ask them about my WSET because sorry this glass is a little dusty i really like to use my pink glasses that's the ones i use the most but we're gonna use this one today because i felt a little different but i need to finish this wine <laughs> if i knew that was all was in here i would have just drunk it now i feel like it's not a waste of time it's not a waste of time but I wanted to finish this wine because, um, what was the last holiday that passed? The power had went out in my neighborhood. I had took this to my aunt's house because I had some video editing to do. And I had opened it over there. So this bottle's been open for about, I'll say about a week now. The cork is, I lost the cork in my car. Well, I can't get it. My hands were too big. I wanted to drink it before it got bad. Usually wines are supposed to be drunk after you open them within like three to five days. I'll say more on the three to four day um, time frame. Definitely like for regular table wines. I do like to open multiple bottles because I have a bottle of Chardonnay that after I take my four sips of this, I'm going to get my bottle of Chardonnay. Um, and I can tell y'all what that is too. But let's smell it or whatever. So first we're gonna look at the color. This is what you do. You're gonna spin it. And usually you can spin it like on a flat surface and just spin it around like that. And then you can see like on the side, it has like legs that kind of tells you how much alcohol. So this one has 14.5% alcohol, so it's gonna be a little on the stronger side. So we're gonna go ahead and taste it. It's strong, but it tastes a little bit more bitter now, I think, because it's been open and all the air is into it. So it's not as flavorful as 
before. It tastes a little, a little dull. Keep a cork on your wine. If you don't have one, I suggest you go like to Ross or Marshalls and buy like the cute wine stoppers that they have that you just wash and replace them. So to taste, I'm getting black cherries. I say more like ripe fruit. I say ripe fruit more than I say over ripened fruit. Cause like over ripened fruit, I hope I'm saying that right because it sounds so weird. Over ripened fruit tastes like um uh, like if you had a port before, like more on the sweeter side. But this one is not. Plum and a little vanilla. A little little vanilla on the back end. Is it dry? It is dry right now. My mouth is watering, but it isn't watering too much. And I think that's it's not watering too much right now because I have left the wine out and it did kind of you know, it's not the best. It's not the best right now. But it is really good if you like a petite Syrah. Um, that's why I probably see so many stores everywhere. But I do really like Michael David's website. So his whole thing is really like a circus. Like, it's a circus up top on iPad. And then you have like Freak Show. And then the bottles have the different designs on them. Oh, and he got a free show trucker hat. Oh, that is real cute, but it's sold out. I just seen why it be sold out. It's $22. That's a cute hat. Let me see if I can touch it for y'all. Can y'all see this trucker hat? That's a cute trucker hat. Okay, it's dark in my room because I'm feeling kind of vampirish today. No, I'm lying, y'all. It's Friday. It's 1.21 p.m. I know y'all like, girl, why are you at the house? Girl... I'm emailing, I'm signing up for more signing services. So I found a list and it has like 260. So I'm about to sign up over this weekend and all next week. I gotta hit it. I'm gonna sign up for all these signing services because I didn't get anything from direct title companies this week. But y'all did see me go out and market, right? Next week, I'm gonna go out and hit the rest of those capital title companies. It's kind of like, it's like a slow 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 process i will say that i am very impatient i'm a very impatient person y'all if i want something to happen i want it to happen tomorrow like i want i want to be booked and busy as a notary eight signings tomorrow it takes time i don't think anyone has had it happen like that or if they did congratulations to them instead of calling um what i'm doing is i'm just taking like the list of the signing services. Let me show y'all. But while it has been slow with my notary business, I have been working on my credit business too. So that's been good. Got some more clients. <laughs> so I'm just like going over my list of with signing up with these services, like I said, and sending them emails and letting them know, letting them know, letting them know I'm available. And instead of calling, you know, because you call. If it's not up there right then and there, they're going to be like, oh, no, we don't have anything available. It could come in two minutes later and they could give it to somebody else. But they're still going to be like, no, it's not available. I'm about to go ahead and complete this. This is how my hair looks. It's like, I feel like it's getting a little greasy, but I haven't flat ironed it. I really didn't flat iron it yesterday either. I had it like in a wrap, but I was thinking about, because today I have a networking meeting it's the dallas um did i tell y'all that i've been looking for like a chamber of commerce to join and i saw like the dallas black and then they had something with the millennials that's the thing that's important to me like when i'm joining groups and organizations i'm i don't want to be the youngest person in there it's not going to be of interest to me yeah i could talk to y'all and i well like when i say y'all like people that's older and i can make connections when it comes to interest you know we got to kind of we got a vibe. I want to be around people my age. So I'm going to vlog that today as well when I go to this um, networking event. It should be really cute. So I'm thinking about doing my hair like with the things like that. And then a the high messy bun. That's how I'm thinking about doing my hair for it. But I don't know. I do know I'm going to flatter my hair. And then we have a wedding tomorrow to go to as well. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to just edit my, edit my vlog that I need to post. So, that'll be vlog number three. I am proud of myself. I'm going to have to go ahead and get that up. But, yeah, I'm just letting y'all know <clears throat> the reality of it. Like, it's slow right now. And a lot of people, when I call them and I email them, they say that it's slow right now. It's slow right now. And I really don't want to hear that, you know, because some people are still closing. But that's why I'm just trying to make these connections in 
person um okay so that's what we are going to do today or that's why i don't know it's like how do y'all feel like when y'all are starting a business and it's just real moving really slow you know i know they say slow motion is still motion but when it's moving really slow how do y'all take that i know i do pray i do pray about it every day and ask god to show me flavor thank him for blessing me um not you know i'll be like god just show me how good it can get just show me god and it's been times god's really shown me like he haven't shown me how good it could get but he's shown me like hey it's a little sprinkle because you got a little must receive the faith so here's a little sprinkle so i appreciate that from the lord every day y'all i'm excited y'all it's been like i've been going through some like things mentally and i know people say like it's mercury retrograde so you know communication might come off different with some people and things like that but you know i've just learned and i am doing like you really have to put yourself first um, because everybody is doing it and I'm not a selfish person where like I'm gonna just always put myself first like I might put somebody else before me and push what I gotta do to the back burner or how I feel to the back burner because I don't want to insult nobody I don't want to hurt nobody but now I have to put myself first in a respectful way you know if it's not making me happy I'm gonna say no I feel like it's a waste of my time or I don't want to do it I'm gonna say no and everybody's not going to understand that people some people think you're gonna be rude some people think you're being mean or you being selfish but it's okay because i know what i'm trying to do my focus and my attention is on building these businesses like y'all i'm only one person i have my credit business i have my notary business and i am a wine ambassador and trying to move forward with my wine things and everything is just like really starting off nothing has really picked up into high gear or anything like that so i'm just working on it all at the same time so it's all in slow motion right now but it still all has motion like it's still content i have to and then i'm doing youtube my blog so it's still content i have to create it's still things i have to edit it's still people and documents i have to talk about and send to and i'm gonna tell you about this mistake i made girl but i'm gonna tell you about that mistake uh later you know it's still appointments i got still still clients i have to talk to it's still credit letters i have to send out it's still laws i have to look into 20 hours later I'm going to be planning that. But it's still connections I got to make. It's still a business plan I have to write. It's still a lot of shit I got to do. And sometimes I can like get overwhelmed. Gossiping about shit. That's not in my to-do. Being in a bad head space. That's not in my to-do. Getting answers. Getting help. Getting guidance. Laughing. Smiling. All that's in my to-do. Why is my camera... It's still, y'all. Took my camera so long to focus. I need to pop y'all up. Where am I gonna pop y'all? Okay, so we are at a, we at the Dallas Black Chamber of Commerce and like Millennials Mixture. Cause I ain't kicked in in a while on a Friday night. I said Texas Live, y'all. I hope I'm not overdressed. I want to show y'all my outfit, but I hope I can make some connections in here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just hope it's a good, like a good networking mix event. I'm gonna throw a blazer on, <laughs> on top of what I got. <laughs> I hope I, don't, I hope I don't look like out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? He says it. Where is it? He said it is at the top floor. So we end at nine. It's seven thirty. Who is this? Okay, girl. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hit you back in a minute. So it's at the Texas Live Choctaw, Choctaw Bar VIP. Um, I think we're cute. I think we're cute. Some other people are cute. I don't want a blazer with mine because I don't want to look too casual. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do. I don't know. Let me see. 
Cause <laughs> I think I might take this hoe off. <laughs> Should I take this hoe off? Let me see how it looks without it. That is a blazer. And this is like. I think we're gonna go without it. Honestly. Cause they got on dresses, honey. I ain't wanna look like. I ain't wanna look like a two club ish. I think what I got on is cute. Just some jeans, white shirt. So it gotta be, sorry. It gotta be up in here. Can I see? We at Texas. Baby, I get what I want. <sighs> Y'all. So, it was a good networking event. I'm at the house. Can y'all see me? Brian, right. Let me tell y'all about people. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I'm a little lit because I had like a Tito's lemon drop. Go. connected with some people got a lot of instagram not too many it was like a lot of people there um uh, but like the young folks the ones i did talk to it was cool it's cool conversation my feet started hurting i had to get home gotta get out them shoes baby i'm finna take my makeup off we got a wedding to go to tomorrow uh, let me see my hair i saw a couple girls oh that's her name ashley i saw ashley i saw wendy i saw um janelle god it was, it was cute honey the girls was cute. Corey, shout out Lex. It was a good event, y'all. It was a good event, but, um, so, and it was a lot of young, like, okay, it was called a millennial mixer, right? But it was, um, it was a good mix of people, but it was a lot of millennials there for sure. And I just feel like right now with everything, everything needs to be slowly transitioning to millennials because we are coming into the 30s, right? Next five to ten years is going to be ran mostly by millennials if not millennials are going to be on the board of whatever so it's a good thing to get into millennials right now and to start transitioning um with the board of directors and everything like that so you thought i was telling you boy you much tell my baby i get what i want i'm gonna tell him to lunch ah. Ah. rocco he thought i was feeling him hey Hey, tell me a munch. Hey, tell me a munch. What's your fat mama? Hey, hey, girl. I call her fat mama because she is thick. She thick just like her mama. Can you, can you get back? I'm on the way to a wedding. I'm gonna comb my hair out when I get there because it's already like falling. I ain't even combed it yet and it's already like hooking together, doing what it needs to, not to do. So, try to do my little edges. So, how my edges look? This is my outfit. It's a skirt and a top from Pretty Little Things. And my mom has on blue. With her crochet bags. Mm -hmm. 
what you in a rush for But you're trying to meet your maker, darling Oh, you running out of time, huh? But time ain't even I real, you really need to chill It's all an illusion You get it mixed up in the vision Whatever it is you try to see You can sit down and just believe But I wouldn't ever be the same old day But I can tell you straight it ain't no game God help me oh, I think I'm insane ah, God bless me God help me Ooh, I think I'm insane Standing there, she never took her eyes off. Wanna tell her? 